Hello and welcome to Steve's Physics Channel. I'm Steve, and in today's video we're going to be looking at a pretty classic force problem where you have two blocks that are stacked on top of each other and you're going to be moving them by pushing the bottom one only. And in this case, you want to find the maximum force that you're going to be able to push the bottom block with and still have the red block on top remain stationary. And you want to find the resulting acceleration. See the picture for the specifics on mass and friction. At this point, go ahead, pause the video, try it by yourself. When you're ready, I'll show you how I did it. Welcome back. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. The way to solve this is you have to use multiple force diagram pictures. And you want to be looking at both the individual objects as well as the system as a whole. And by the system I mean the red and the blue block together. First thing I did was I wanted to draw a picture of just the red block on top. And the forces acting on it are gravity going down, the normal force going up, and then we have the friction going to the right. Now it's quite important that we understand why, and it's a little tricky to figure out exactly why it's going that way. And we can deduce that it's going right by elimination. Let's go through all the other options. If we say there's no horizontal force acting on the red block, then it really wouldn't move at all. As you push the blue block underneath it, the red block would stay still until it's no longer underneath it and then it would fall to the ground. And that's not what's going on here, so we know that there must be some force acting on that red block. What if we try where the force of friction is actually going to the left? That would be opposing the direction of motion, which is normally what happens in force problems that we've encountered before. So it intuitively makes sense to begin with. However, if you actually were to think how that would play out practically, if there's acceleration going to the left and you're pushing to the right, the red block would actively be accelerating in the wrong direction. And that doesn't make sense. So the force can't be to the left against the push. So by process of elimination it must be going right and this makes the most sense because it has to be pulling that red block along so that it stays on top of the blue. Next you can deal with a force diagram for the blue block. Now the blue block is a little simpler because you only have the force of gravity going down for the blue block and the normal force from the floor pushing back up. However, it's also got the red block sitting on top, which is pushing it down. So you also have the force of the red block pushing down. And last but not least, you have the applied force pushing it to the side, which we're trying to figure out. To figure it out, we're going to use Newton's second law force is equal to mass times acceleration, and we're going to look at the red block in both the x direction and in the y direction. For the y direction, we know that the normal force is pushing up, gravity is pulling down, and it's not accelerating in the y direction, so it's equal to zero. In the x direction, we know that there is the force of friction, and that's the only force and since the red block is accelerating, we know that it's going to be equal to mass times acceleration. Then we just have to solve for the normal force, and we have to plug that into the other equation. When we do, we get a very similar looking equation. Then we just solve for the acceleration, and plug in what we know, and when we do that, we find that the acceleration is equal to 0 0.56 meters per second squared. Now we have enough information to solve for what the force of the push is, which we just use Newton's second law again 
force is equal to mass times acceleration. We plug in what we know and we find that the force applied is equal to 4.41 newtons. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. If you do have questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. And if you liked this video and it helped, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like it. And until next time, have a great day.